I remember, I at that period, I was kind of a snob about movies. As the theater was much more where I had seen my future. Uh, certainly was my present. And um, I, I was quite happy in that environment. And I think films, I thought, was some kind of a bourgeois activity that uh, certainly wasn't artistic. And uh, it was silly thought, of course, it was ridiculous. But I saw this movie, Badlands, and um, it, it got some incredible review in the New York Times. I went to see this movie, and it was playing on 42nd Street. It was being totally dumped by the studio that made it. And, uh, and I went to see this film, and I went, wow. Man, if you could make a movie like that, I'd be up for that. And I remember maybe a month later, a call came that uh, Terry Malick was casting for a, his next movie. And that was Terry's movie, Badlands. And uh, I thought, wow, okay. All right, that sounds good. And we met over many months, I mean, many months, when he was trying to figure out how to cast the movie. And trying different combinations of, of actors and actresses and whatever. And finally, finally, it got to the point where I said to him, look, Terry, I can't do this anymore. I mean, just make up your mind and whatever it is, it's fine. And I remember being in a hotel in California at the time. And I got this call. Terry was saying, you know, I, I want you to do the film and we're going to start pretty soon. And I, I, I had, it's one of those moments in your life where you know your life is going to change drastically. It'll never be the same again. And I could feel that very much so. And of course it did. I mean, it was the beginning of my life as a, as a film actor, um, but changed everything about my internal and external life, for sure. Was it a difficult film to make? Yeah, yeah, it was in, we were trying to get four seasons in Alberta, Canada, starting in, I don't know when we started in August and went for maybe three or four months. We got freezing cold. And it was long drives to the locations. Um, there was no money. We were living out of campers. Uh, on that level, it was extremely difficult. Um, on another level, it was it, clearly we were doing something that was artistically and creatively rich. You know, the cinematographer was Nestor Almandros on that, and he was, he's deceased now, but he was one of, one of the greats, European cinematographers, and he was, it was the first American film that he, that he worked on, that he shot. Uh, and he brought an incredible natural feel to this movie, a sense of scope, simplicity. Um, uh, it's a, it's a beautiful film. And I, I mean, aside from whatever my contribution is, it's, it's just a beautifully conceived and articulated movie.